Teacher University. In this series, we are going to look at some essential ideas in important topics in mathematics. My name is Ban Ha, and today we are going to be discussing about the concept of percent. Percent can be used in at least two common ways. First, we can use percent to describe a part of a whole. For example, when we say that during a crisis, 90% of the aircrafts in an airline is grounded, we are saying that for every 10 aircrafts, 9 of them are not flying. Secondly, we can use percent to describe a change. For example, if we say that 90% of the flights are cancelled because of a crisis, what we mean to say is, before the crisis, there are so many flights, and when the crisis happened, every 10 flights that used to happen, nine of them are no longer happening. That's a second way we use percent. Let us look at some examples. The first use of percent is to describe a part of a whole. In this example, Spikey has $200 and he decides to donate $70. So the $70 is a part of the $200, which is the whole. So we can say that Spikey is donating a certain percentage of the $200. How many percent? We can find out exactly. So the amount Spikey donates is really a part of the amount that he has. We can write it as a fraction. That is a fraction of his money that Spikey is donating. And of course, from equivalent fractions, we kind of know that that fraction is also equals to 35 hundredths, which we sometimes refer to as 35%. Of course, the fraction of his money that he's donating can also be written as other fractions. But if we are going to use percent to describe the $70 as part of the $200, I suppose looking at that equivalent fraction is more convenient. So we say that Spikey donates 35% of his $200. So that is the first use of percent. So in this video, we look at the use of percent to describe a part of a whole. What does it mean instructional wise for our students? How do we help them acquire and master this idea? Well, it shouldn't be too difficult because students are already familiar with ideas like half the class are boys. And they can now say that 50% of the class are boys. Or one quarter, one fourth of my salary is spent on food. Alternatively, I can say 25% of my money, my salary, is spent on food. Likewise, they can say two-fifths of the participants at the event are adults. And they can use percent to describe 
the same amount. Two-fifths? Or they could well say 40% of the participants are adults. So the first idea is not too difficult for students to acquire and master, but they must realize that they are not learning anything new. They already know how to use fraction to describe a part of a whole. All they need to realize that they can use a fraction with denominator 100 to do the same job. So instead of saying half, they could say 50%. Instead of saying one fourth, they could well say 25%. And instead of saying two fifths, they could say 40%. That is an important idea that all teachers must realize. See you next time at Teacher University.